of our hearts. Amen. Amen. Truly, it is a blessing to be found in God's house. This morning, I want to thank each and every one of, of, of you all who has joined with us uh, in the building, as well as virtual, to hear what the Lord is saying. Amen. Uh, very profound lesson this morning. I think that uh, for, for, for the believer, it is definitely relatable, uh, though the scenario is much different than, than our day and time. Yes. However, it is applicable to our walk in God. And we're going to bow our heads in a word of prayer. Uh, Deke, do you mind taking some prayer? Absolutely. Amen. Amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come to you with open hearts and bow our heads in submission of your greatness. Father, you ask, we ask that you bless Pippin Hand Ministry this morning. Bless our teacher. Let him bring forth the word filled with your gospel. Yes, Lord. We ask that anybody in the need of prayer, Father God, submit their heart to you mm -hmm. and ask unto you yes, to restore their energy. Father, bless those who are not able to make it this morning. Bless the ones that are in the virtual land. Continue the blessing upon our congregation. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Father God, we love you. Mm -hmm. We praise you and we need you. And it's in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you for that prayer. Yes. Amen. Yes, uh, as I was saying, a very profound lesson today that we're having. Uh, and the title is God Confirms Gideon's Mission. Not that God has to confirm the mission. Mm -hmm. If you're walking in faith, he doesn't have to confirm it. You, you, you believe that he is confirmed. Amen? Amen. Uh, but, but this is just to, uh, when the odds are overwhelmingly against you, amen, he, he felt that it was necessary that he, uh, uh, that he confirmed it to Gideon. Amen? Every now and then, sometimes we... We, we do need that, you know, it, it, we're looking at the circumstances and the situation and saying to ourselves, Lord, there's no way possible that I can overcome. Mm -hmm. And God, I send you a word, amen? amen? And that word will reveal to you, you know, what God is doing, even if it's just, you know, uh, uh, I'm moving or yeah. I, 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 giving you a scripture, all things work to the good of God. You know, those are things that we have to apply to ourselves in our walk. God did not promise, and, and if if you found somewhere where he promised it, let, let us know. Amen. But he didn't promise that it would be easy. <laughs> Amen. He didn't, he didn't promise that. Yeah. Amen. 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 He didn't promise that. Our lesson uh, today, as I said, is very profound. And it comes from Judges 7, 2 through 4, 13 through 15, 8, 22 through 25. Amen. Amen. That was about 10. I'll read the first uh, three, and uh, the remaining will be read by those in, the, in attendance in the congregation. Amen. And it reads, And the Lord said unto Gideon, The people that are with thee are not too many for me to give the Midianites into their hands. Least Israel vault themselves against me, saying, My own hand has saved me. Now therefore go to proclaim in the ears of the people, saying, Whosoever is fearful and afraid, let him return and depart early from Mount Gilead. And there and there returned of the people twenty and two thousand, and there remain 10,000. And the Lord said unto Gideon, The people are yet too many. Bring them down unto the water, and I will try them for thee therefore. Thee there. And it will be that of whom I say unto, unto thee, This shall go with thee, and the same shall go with thee. And whosoever I say unto thee, this shall not go with thee, the same shall not go. Amen. 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 And when Gideon was come, excuse me, 13, and when Gideon was come,
come, behold, there was a man that told a dream unto his father, unto his father, and said, Behold, I dreamed a dream, I dreamt a dream, and lo, a cake of bark with bread tumbled unto the host of Midian, and came unto a tent and smoke it, that it fell, and overturned it, that the tent lay alone. And his followed answer and said, This is not a uh, El saved the sword of Gideon, the son of Joshua, and the man of Israel. For into his hand has God delivered many and all their hosts. And it was so. When Gideon heard the telling of the dream and the interpretation thereof, that he worshiped and returned to the host of Israel and said, Arise, for the Lord has delivered into you your hand the host of men. Amen. 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 Then the men of Israel said to Gideon, Rule over us, both you and your son, and your grandson also. For you have delivered us from the hand of Midian. But Gideon said unto them, I will not rule over you, nor shall my son rule over you. The Lord shall rule over you. Then Gideon said to them, I would like to make a request of you, that each of you would give me an earring uh, from his plunder. For they had golden earrings because they were Ishmaelites. Mm -hmm. So they answered, We will gladly give them. And they spread out a garment, and each man threw into it an earring from his plunder. Amen. 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 So, just just taking a an observation look at what Gideon was faced with, mm -hmm. and you know, the the odds were overwhelmingly stacked against him. Mm -hmm. we, we understand that you know the old saying that there's strength in numbers. And, and it really is. It's, 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 it's strength in, in numbers. numbers. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. But the strength in numbers can never supersede the power of God. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. It'll never do that. Now, of us who are sitting here today, we, we understand that. Uh, uh, how many of y'all just got, by show of hand, you just got one enemy? <laughs> okay. Two enemies. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Three enemies. <laughs> It, it, it's not. It's not. It's not true. We we have way more than that. And so Gideon is looking at this, and and the numbers had him. I, I would say it, it doesn't say, but it, it, he had to have felt some type of way that here it is, all these people, and and here it is, God, you're reducing the number in which I have. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so let's take a look at our, our walk with God. And how sometimes it can seem like, well, you know, they're against me at home. They're against me at the job. Yeah. They're against me here. They're against me there. Uh -huh. Lord, have mercy. Just everyone is against me. Yeah, right. And I submit to you that we, we've got to understand that uh, when people come against us, we have to first understand that, that nothing that they do or, or conspire to do it, it will not yield any fruit. <laughs> Amen? Yeah, yeah. The only way that it yields fruit is that, that God is not with you. Or not, not, not necessarily not with you. Is that maybe sometimes God is trying to rock something in your life. That's right. Amen? And you're trying to figure out why is this, that, and the other. I have had people who I work for who meant me no good. And I couldn't understand why Why is it. You know, I'm just I'm just down there. I'm, I'm, I'm nobody. I'm just trying to get along. I'm just, I'm just striving to do what's right. But yet... They come against me, mm -hmm. and so my mind is, is 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 bewildered for the fact that they're coming against me. One, without a cause, mm -hmm. with no no reason. Yeah. Now I think that that's probably one of the questions as we ask ourselves is that when when we're faced with opposition, we we say, "Well, Lord, I ain't, I ain't did nothing to them. Lord, why, 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 why they come against me?" <laughs> Amen. But I, I want you to understand that uh, uh, the more folks come against you. It, it lets you know the amount of anointing that you have. Yeah. Amen? Yeah, right. Amen? Because, you know, man has a the proclivity to, to do things to try to think that they can hamper or stop the
the move of God. Mm -hmm. you, you can't. Amen? That's right. You can't. You might put something in the way. Amen? But you only put it in the way as a detour because the detour was already in the mix from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Amen? God already knew in the beginning. So here it is, Gideon, who is faced with this opposition and the charge that God has given him. Amen? Now, I, I want to say to you, I don't think that Gideon was relishing at the opportunity to be the leader. Mm -hmm. He wasn't chopping at the bit saying, yeah, me, me right here, Lord. Me, me, me right here. Amen. Amen. It, it, it's probably, we can use that relevance to our walk with God. Mm -hmm. Amen. God has called us to give us a, a particular assignment. And uh, with most, I think that we we kick, kick against the prick. Amen. To where we like. Lord, I do yeah. X, Y, and Z. I'll I be the deacon, Lord. Just, mm -hmm. just let me be the deacon. I'll be the deacon. Uh, he said, no, no, I, I call you to be the pastor. I call you to be this. Well, well, Lord, you know what? I'm really good with this right here, you know, but, but you know, let, let, let somebody else call somebody else to, to do this. <laughs> and so he was given this task. You know, we, we can't run from the task that God has given us. That's right. Amen? Gideon showed us that the task that is given, we have to hit it straight on. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. There's something that, that we must understand about the armament of God that he has given us. As you know, you got the breastplate of righteousness. You got all this stuff to the front of you. That's right. But when you turn around to the back, you no. see that there is no provision uh -huh. for the back. Because okay. God does not intend for you to run. Right. Amen? Right. Matter of fact, there is no need for you to run. If God is for you, who can be against you? Right. Amen? So... He, he didn't put that in mind. I, I, uh, and, you know, when our enemies come against us, we often say that they come from the back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They came from the front. Mm -hmm. You've you seen them, you just didn't know what it was that you were seeing. Amen? Because God had not revealed it yet. Mm -hmm. Amen? You think, I thought you were my friend. <laughs> Amen? Yeah. Well, your friend is not on uh, behind you. He's not on the side. Your friend is... In your face. There you go. Amen. 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 So I want to read this for a minute. It says, what we remember most about Gideon's call is the reluctance to accept what God was telling him. The reluctance. Do, do we find ourselves in that in our daily walk? The reluctance that, you know, God tell us to do something or we be like, I don't, I don't know, Lord, about that right there. Well, you, know, that, you know, that's going to cause me some issues. Or, Lord, I... I just ain't ready for that right there. Yeah, you, you're ready for it. The task that God has assigned to your hand mm -hmm. is assigned to your hands. And when he signed it to you, he knew that, you know, I'm assigned this to, to Pastor Christie. Amen. Amen. I mean, Pastor Christie. I mean, Sister Christie. <laughs> Amen. 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 I call things not as they are, but as they shall be. But anywho, I, I sign these. The, the, uh, uh, Sister Christie's hand. That's Sister Christie's assignment. Only Sister Christie can do it because God has deemed that she be the one to do it. Right. Amen. 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 That's why we are chosen in Him. Right. Right. Amen. Amen. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. We're, we're chosen in, in Him. You know, if anybody wakes up and tells you, say, yeah, you know, I uh, I chose to serve the Lord. I chose to be in church this morning. No, you didn't. You didn't have any say-so in it. Amen? You didn't have any say-so in it. So uh, we're going to move on. So, so to go to text, it says, When Gideon heard them telling of the dream and the interpretation thereof, he worshipped. I'm going to stop right, right there. Because we need to place emphasis on worship. Mm -hmm. It didn't say that he praised him. Because a praiser can deceive. Mm. Amen? 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 What does Judah mean? <laughs> hmm? Judah. Uh -huh. Judah. Uh, it is a lion, but praise. Uh huh. And who was the deceiver? <laughs> Judas. Okay? Judas. Now, he said, worship me. How do we worship the Lord? In spirit and in truth. And in truth. Mm -hmm. Amen? So
So you can't lie to him about your worship. Yeah. You can't lie to him. Oh, I just praise God because he did such, 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 such. Mm -mm. I worship him because he did such and such and such. Mm -hmm. Because that worship is true. That's the only way that you can worship him. Amen? Amen. I say, he worshiped and returned into the host of Israel and said, Arise, the Lord has delivered into your hand the host of Midian. Now he did that not by with an action, but with a dream. Yeah. Amen? Amen? With a dream. That, that's all he needed. Isn't that, isn't that remarkable? How many of us have received a word from God and it just rejuvenated us? It just, I, so I, say, I believe I run on, see what the end is going to be. Amen. Amen. Just, just the wording. Just, just <clears throat> because he did that, but provided that assurance. Mm -hmm. Amen. That assurance. Now, when we first start our serving the Lord, it's almost as if our 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 faith and works are immediate. Amen. Man, I didn't, God just moved so quickly, and then as we begin more season, we saying, Lord, when you coming? <laughs> Lord, you said you was gonna come. <laughs> Lord. Well, see, the first is to, to, to encourage you so that your faith is what? Increased. Much that is given, much is required. Yes. Amen. So God is, he is building you up. It's building blocks. He's building you up. Amen. He is building you up. You know, the, the, the building is, is uh, it, it can be difficult at times. Amen? Because sometimes we don't want to be built. <laughs> you know what? We, I see how we're going this morning. We don't want to say amen or nothing. But I, I'm going to say it for you. Amen. We, we don't want to be built. Amen? We don't want to be changed. We don't want to be, uh, uh, be put in a position sometimes where God can use us. Amen? Amen. Amen. Of, uh, the readiness judges 2 through 4, the confirmation judges 7, 13 through 15, and the conclusion. Now, I speak about readiness. Amen. For those who are military minded, you, you know exactly what we mean when we say readiness. Mm -hmm. Amen. Your, 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 your readiness is your preparedness for whatever it is that you're fit to engage in. Amen. Uh, me and Sister Christy talked last week, and I said, yeah, she was doing some PCCs and PCIs, pre-combat checks and pre-combat inspections. Mm -hmm. Amen. And, and so we're getting ready for what God is going to do in our life. Now, getting ready causes us sometimes, or not sometimes, but all the time, to, to pull off. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And to put on. Mm -hmm. And here it is. Gideon had to pull off his reluctantness. Amen. He had to pull it off. Mm -hmm. That that doubt that here it is, I see this mass amount of numbers, and God keeps whittling them, 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 my numbers down in order to say that he's going to deliver. We have this fascination with, with as I said, numbers. And we look at them and, and say to ourselves that I can't get through this. I can't overcome it's like something that, that we need deliverance from God from. We just feel like, man, Lord, there's no way I can overcome this. Uh, uh, it, it, it is too great. And God, what God does is show you that I'm going to show you how you can do it, and it's going to be easier than you anticipated. Right. Amen. Easier than you could even imagine. Because mm -hmm. as, a, as a prior service member, we think about what the, we do what they call a, a battle assessment. And we, we think about, you know, if if we go against this multitude with our numbers, you know, what are the chances that we're going to lose mobility, equipment, resources in order to sustain the fight? Mm -hmm. That's what we say today, but I'm sure that, that those things weighed on his mind, because if not, he would have never been concerned with the numbers. Amen? He was concerned with them. And so God is preparing him. The preparation is not an easy task. It, uh, it, it is something that we have got to accept in our walk, even as Gideon did. He had to accept the preparedness, amen, that God was getting ready to do some things, mm -hmm. amen, in his life. 
Amen. Anytime someone has something to say, by all means, throw your hand up, interject, what have you. Amen. Amen. This is Sunday school, and, and Sunday school means that everybody that's in the school is learning. Amen. 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 Readiness. Paring down the truth. Amen. Practical point one. God's plans are designed to bring him, not his servants, glory. Man, let me, let me read that again so that, so that can, you know, marinate with it. It said, God's plans are designed to bring him, that's capital H, him, not his servant's glory. Mm -hmm. His plan is, 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 is not for you, it's, it's for him. Okay. Amen? It's, it's for him. Amen. Not, not for you. We would like to think that it's, you know, it's for me. But, 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 but ultimately, it's for him. Right. Amen? It's for when we are faced with that adversary or faced with what we're going through, those circumstances, mm -hmm. the glory goes to who? To him. Amen? To him. And that's why it's important that we understand that he won't let this enemy win against you because if the enemy wins, he gets what? No glory. Mm -hmm. But the glory belongs to him. And because it belongs to him, guess what? It's his. He's going to get it. Amen. 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 A word I would like to use as an NCO, we used to have this word that says that all soldiers are entitled to outstanding leadership. Meaning that that's owed to the soldier. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're entitled. Here it is. The glory is owed to him. No matter what you think. No matter what it looks like, the glory is owed to God. Amen. 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 Go ahead, Sister Chris. Um, so, going into what you touched on, and maybe I can take it a uh, step up. Oh, <clears throat> um, you talked on assurance, and then you're talking about where the glory belongs. Here, it was reading in the commentary where Gideon's faith was initially. Mm -hmm. Gideon's faith was in the size of his army. That faith was about to be tested. How often do we put ourselves in a position as being providers of our homes or the head of our household where we believe that without us it can't be done? Yeah, amen. So we are children as well. Mm -hmm. So Gideon already lacked the reassurance which that that he needed twice twofold over. Um, and maybe he's just going to do his best. I don't know. I'm ad living. Amen. But, but on this note here, when it goes back to where he asked God with uh, two tests. Uh, sorry, Pastor, I'm to give this to you over again. This is refreshing training. Amen. <laughs> but, Amen. But to say that he asked him about the fleece two times was a test prior to. Right. To make sure that you got me, you know, and, and how often do we find ourselves in that situation <laughs> that. You know, that apprehension that you, you call me to do this, but I just don't know if I can do it. Amen. But again, our father sees things in us just as we are parents. We see things in our children they don't even see in themselves. Right, oh, I right. can't do that. Amen. That's you thinking too big. Amen. So that's what the Father God did for Gideon. Amen. I see it in you when you don't see it in yourself. Right. Go forth, my child. You will. I told you. I would have turned the Midianites over to you. Amen. But that's what we do. And God wasn't mad. He walked beside him and he reassured him two times. Right. So that tells me that I can tell my children two times. Amen. Two times. Yeah. Two times. Right. right. Lord help us. Amen. That they see it. That they can achieve it. That's right. Amen. Amen. And, awesome. Uh, and, uh, and also, <clears throat> if God knows us, <clears throat> excuse me, and he, uh, he tells Gideon right off the bat that the, the people who are with you are too many. Right. And, and then he tells them why. Because you're going to win. But then they're going to say, look at what we did. Or, oh, oh, wait a minute. Look what I did. No, yeah. So, so and, and we have the propensity to do that. Right. You know, we want to take credit. And so this is what, what he's talking about. So instead of putting them in a position where they're going to take credit for something God did, He's, uh, he's reducing the number Amen. And, and making it more 
uh, suitable for God, for them to not say, this is what we did, but we, we had some help. Amen. We had some great help. Absolutely. You know, one of the things that Sister Christy said that I had to write down so that I make sure I get it, she spoke about faith. Mm -hmm. And it, it didn't say that he had to have a, a large amount of it. It says the size of a what? Must have seen. Yeah. And so he did demonstrate that he believed because if he didn't, he wouldn't have went through those yeah. actions. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You know, that's what God wants us to do. Is that, you know, your faith requires works. And the works was the actual action. He believed, but he had that those steps he had to take. Right. You know, sometimes we're afraid to take those steps. Amen. We're afraid to take those steps that God has spoken something, he says something, and we're scared to take those steps because our faith isn't where it should be. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? Amen. Oh, uh, yeah. uh, let's be real about it. Our faith isn't where it should be because we're reluctant to take the step. Yeah. Amen? Amen? And caveat into what the uh, pastor said, you know, it, how many times that we want to take credit for what God has done. <laughs> Amen? Amen. I'm this person that I am, you know, because I went to school and applied myself. No, no. No. Uh-uh. That was because God was merciful. Because he was, because, you know, we can all look at an aspect of our lives. And I used to do this all the time. When God would bless me, Lord, I ain't worthy. I ain't, Lord, I, I'm, 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 I'm sinning. I'm I'm doing this, but yet and still, you continue to bless me. Yeah. Amen? Amen? So it wasn't nothing that I had done. Isn't that something? It's like our salvation. Amen? Amen. Oh. We could not have gotten there. Amen? It, it wasn't that, you know what? Yeah, I'm saved. <laughs> mm -mm. No, 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 uh-uh. No. No, it, it wasn't like that. And so the importance for us to understand is that when God is doing different things in our lives, give him the glory. Give him the credit. Amen. 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 Worship and praise him. Yes, sir. Go ahead, Jim. Yeah. It's just so funny. Friday, I was in the car, a friend of mine was traveling. And he, he and I were talking about this. When you give God credit. When you go for a job and you're trying to sell something, though, you have to talk about yourself. Right. And, and that's something that, you know, know that when the time is, is that when we do, although we know in the background, we still got God, we got to make sure we get him the glory. But we go for that job interview or you put that resume, right. you slam it, this is what, this is what I've done because that's what the world sees. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But, but when we move down those, those believers, those saints, <coughs> they know that it, it's all about God. So sometimes I think, you know, when do we do it, how to do it, but no, in our heart, that it's from God. That's right. Mm -hmm. We do it because if you go and say, well, God this and God, God gave you this, and then, <laughs> you know, right. and that gives, they, they, they won't get it. Right. So Amen. you have to, but in, in our heart, we got to know that it's coming from God. Right. And the scripture says, acknowledge me in what? Some things? Oh, oh, no, no, I don't say it. Just a few yeah, things. Just, yeah, just yeah. this right here, I'm yeah. acknowledging. That's right. In all things, <laughs> Lord, I'm struggling on my job. Yeah. Acknowledge Him. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Lord, how I'm gonna make this payment? Acknowledge, Acknowledge Him. Woo. Lord, this is happening in my life. My relationships are failing. Acknowledge, Acknowledge him. him. That's woo. That's pretty bad because it's too easy to acknowledge Him when things is hey, right, exactly. hey everything is going wonderful. Woo, woo, woo. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> right. Woo, woo. Acknowledge Him in all things. Further, further preparing needed. And so God is still willing down those numbers because, as Pastor said, you know, you don't want them to think that it, without a doubt they'll know that it was God that brought them out. We have gotten to a point in our lives where things have happened and we can sit back and look and say, man, God brought me out of that. Without a doubt, because the debt, the debt, was stacked so high against oh, yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. You know it wasn't nothing but God. I, I mean, I, I know, I, I say it quite often. 
Lord, if you bring me out <laughs> this time, yeah. I'll serve you forever. You know? Lord, and then it's two weeks later. Lord, just bring me out this time. <clears throat> and I'll serve you till I, I die. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. We, we've all been there. Yeah. yeah. And what's so crazy about it is that God already know that you're going to be saying that next week anyway. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But yet he provides you that mercy. Mm -hmm. Amen. He, he already knows. <laughs> he already knows. But, but you got to understand, just like God wants us to know it's a process, it was a process he created. Yeah. Amen. And so that, that's why his mercy works with us because he knows. He looks down the road, around the corner, back in the nook and cranny, in the cul-de-sac, through the woods, what you're going to be. He already know that whether or not, you know, is this going to be the breaking point or the defining point of, of Pastor Davis for him to elevate himself? You know, not himself, but, you know, through God. Yeah. Or is this going to be, is it going to be, is this going to be the turning point where he cut and run? Is he going to do like uh, uh, Gideon's folks did that, you know, those who don't want to go. <laughs> Amen. I'm out. Deuces. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I don't want to fight. <clears throat> Amen. And you have to understand, you know, anything, and we say this, anything that is good is worth what? Fighting for. Fighting for. Right, right. Amen. And and God is, is good. Um, it's Amen. It's, it's an interesting point. It's amazing how many people were afraid. That's right. 22,000. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> if you're fearful, if you're afraid, you know, you can take off. And then, out of those that showed up to fight, they showed up afraid to fight. Yeah. And you're yeah. talking about mercy. That's mercy for God to release them too. That's right. That's right. Without any repercussions. Yeah. Man, oh man. Can I add on to that? Absolutely. So spread the numbers you hit. Amen. Twenty two walked away. Um and in my notes yesterday I had put in the numbers breeds complacency and company. Mm -hmm. But you makes us the few makes us more vigilant mm -hmm. and walking outside oh, sorry, I'm, I'm an mm -hmm. analogy that I use. Um as if you run outside or you take your tell the kids take the trash out, it's dark. Mm -hmm. It'd be alright if we stood out there on the porch but nobody took the trash out. Mm -hmm. And when we asked them to go out and take the trash out, they get back just a little quicker, don't they? Right. You know, <laughs> they're out there by themselves and they're calling on God, please don't let the snake don't let them jump out. Just right. the when I open it. Right. And all of the above that and that's how we we approach <clears throat> our life. But look at it when we're with numbers. I have to go back and like Pastor said, I have to look at the numbers. They were fearful. So how effective are you anyway? Twenty two thousand you was worthless. <laughs> so what does that mean in numbers? Now I want character. I want heart. Right. Amen. Oh, Amen. You, you know what is, is remarkable? If you look at the children of Israel and the things that God had done, the God of Israel, the same God that we're speaking of, how he brought you out. Mm -hmm. And yet still you didn't have the faith to believe that this little thing, right? Because coming out of Egypt was something. Yeah. Amen. And here it is. This little thing right here it hindered you. But isn't that what happens to us? That it, ain't the, it ain't the big thing that hinders us. That, that little thing, it hinders us and causes us to rethink our positioning in God. Amen? And, and, and it's sad that they, that they left knowing what they knew, briefly knew about God and how he brought them out. Man, it's, it's almost to believe that you didn't have any faith from the get-go. But pre-adventure, just one. Pre-adventure. Amen? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is, it is, it is. If the leader does not believe, how can he or she get the congregation to believe? How can he get the followers to believe? Amen? Like a parent. How can I get my child to believe that they can do it if, if I don't tell them that? If I don't reinforce that? Amen? Amen. It requires that. 
just like our faith, requires reinforce, reinforcement. Each battle that we go through is not like the last one. There's some similarities like crying out to God, crying for God to move. There's some similarities, but the actual meat and potatoes of it is not the same. Amen. It's, it's something else. It seems like, you know, it, it's like a roller coaster. Man, Lord, I, I came out, now I'm on top, and then it's back down. But it's just like an EKG. Amen. Mm -hmm. When it go down, what that mean? Yeah, nothing, exactly. <laughs> Amen. That means nothing. Amen. That means we, 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 we're doing right when that thing is going back up and down. But when that thing goes straight across, <laughs> we dead. We, we, we dead. Amen. We are dead. And we can be dead spiritually. Amen. Amen. So it says, further pairing was needed. You know, we, we are the type of people who complain and we, we will ask God for a toothpick knowing that he has a forest full of trees. Amen? One toothpick, but he's got a forest. A forest. And, you know, faith, what I've learned about faith was that as a child it was reinforced. Amen? It, it wasn't like mama's. Mm -hmm. right. Because I'm yet a child, I'm yet growing. That's right. my, my faith is not like deep faith. Amen? But it, he has faith. Mm -hmm. Nobody faith is the same. That's why God said that if you had the size of a mustard seed. Mm -hmm. Amen? That measure. Everyone is given a measure. Amen? God said, I just want you to believe. I just want you to believe. If we plant the seed, God will give the increase. Yes. Amen? Amen? If we plant the seed, if we, if we tell our children, you can be the best. The seed has been planted. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. There's things that they have to do, but the increase will come from God. Amen? It will come from God. So more parenting was needed, just like our walk. You know, uh, when you say parent is needed, that means he's cutting back, cutting away. Amen. Every day we should get up with the idea in our minds that God is cutting away something about me that does not fit his mission. Amen. Amen. He's, he's cutting away. It's, 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 it's a growth thing. Amen. When a butcher gets a, 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 a cow, Amen. The first thing that he or she starts to do is to cut away the fat. Mm -hmm. Amen. Cut away the fat. Because the fat, it, it, it tastes good, don't it? No. <laughs> oh, it marinate that meat just right. <laughs> Amen. It, 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 you know, when you get that steak, we were looking for a steak that's what? Marbleized. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're looking for it to be marbleized. And the more marble it got in it, oh, the better it tastes. Oh, yeah. I think the, the steak is called a wagyu. Something like that. Mm -hmm. And oh, it's it's so good. Yeah. Amen. But just because it's so good don't mean that it's what? Good for you. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. And so that God is cutting away those things in our life that doesn't fit his kingdom. Mm -hmm. Amen. Each one of us here, from the least to the greatest, has something that God is cutting away. Mm -hmm. Some of us, the cutting away uh, maybe can happen overnight. And then some of us, the cutting away is maybe a lifetime. Amen? It may be a lifetime. As we see with the children of Israel, it was a lifetime. Mm -hmm. It was a lifetime. God, God was cutting away, and, and the more he cut away, amen, the more that they put on. They're like, mm, I like that taste. You know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> amen. Practical point two. says, <laughs> obeying God is always best, even when we do not fully understand his ways or his plans. Man. Oh man, obeying. You know, obeying sometimes gets to a point to where it's something that you must do that you don't want to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. Pastor Davis, I want you to be. Uh, 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 
I, I want you to come out those streets and I want you to, you know, get in my house and I want you to preach my word and Lord, I don't, I don't know about that, man. You know, them, them streets like on uh, New Jack City, they keep calling me and calling me. <laughs> Amen? Because they will. The streets yeah. will call you. Know? Yeah. And whatever it is that God is trying to cut away in your life will call you and call you. Right. Amen? It doesn't always have to be the street. And here, we must obey. And obeying is, 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 is our faith being put to work. I want you to do this, regardless of what it looks like. You know, uh, 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 Gideon could have said, "You know what, Lord? I don't, I don't like, I don't like what's going on." But we didn't did that, have we? <laughs> Lord, I don't like, I don't, Lord, I'm uncomfortable. I submit to you, saints of God, that you have to be, you have to get comfortable being uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. You, 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 there's no way around it. Amen. When you get comfortable, as uh, Sister Christy said, complacency mm -hmm. sets in. Yeah. Complacency. Amen. And we don't we don't want that. We don't want to be where our servitude to God is routine. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, Sunday, I'm going to church. Okay. At twelve oh one. This. <laughs> Amen. So we don't want it to be to where it's it's routine. And God doesn't make our lives where it is routine because we're faced with something each and every single day. Mm -hmm. Every day we're faced with something. Amen? Mm -hmm. So it is important that we understand that it says for his, his way or plans. How many of us have given, God has given us a task and we just, we didn't understand. We understood the task, we just didn't understand what the task would produce. Gideon understood the task. Mm -hmm. He just didn't understand what it would produce. Okay, the task is we're going to go down here, we're going to uh, uh, pair back some more, and you know, those who drink this way, and, and those who drink that way, and, yeah. and uh, yeah. okay, Lord, I understand. But, but what we got, what you want you to take a look at is that Gideon allowed God to make those decisions for him. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He didn't he didn't get it emotional. Like, hey, I can't do this. Mm -mm. He didn't get emotional. He said, okay, this is what's going to happen. And he allowed God to move. And so, also, Gideon couldn't take credit for what God is doing. Yeah, that's right. Amen? He yeah. couldn't take credit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No 300 were, Amen. were picked by God. Amen. Amen. And as I said earlier, if if the leader doesn't believe, how can he get his congregation to believe? Yeah. Amen? So Gideon had to believe that nothing but good was going to come of this. Amen. Nothing. He, 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 he automatically knew without a doubt, and he has to communicate that. Let me tell you something about faith. Faith is something that you can, you can tell by a person's demeanor whether or not they have faith. Mm -hmm. Do X, Y, and Z. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Versus the person say, do X, Y, and Z. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. That's a person who is exercising their faith. Mm -hmm. Now, they already knew that there was a high probability that they were not qualified. Amen? Amen. But qualifications did not come from me. That's right. Mm-mm. Whom I call. Amen? And so they executed as God told them. Let's let's go with a vision. When God gives a man or woman of God a vision, the one who he has given the vision to, they're accountable. Mm -hmm. Not responsible, accountable. Two different words. We're responsible for helping them. It's like a, a, a movie director. You know, the movie director, is, 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 when he, he's directing, he, he's rarely in the film That's because right. he's directing. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? And then the actors, they have their lines and what they're supposed to do and what they're supposed to say in order to have a favorable outcome. Mm -hmm. Amen? To produce a favorable outcome. 
That's what they're doing. And, you know, we cannot, you know, your role is your role. You can't say that now this is my role. Scripture shows me that God can bless you in your place and curse you in somebody else's. Mm. Mm. Amen? Right. Amen. He can bless you in your place. Oh, you can be blessed. You can be a, a very known king. But then you can say, you know what? I want to be a high priest. <laughs> and God curse you Ooh. with leprosy. Mm -hmm. Because you stepped out of your lane <laughs> from where God had you. Mm -hmm. Amen? Stay in your lane. Absolutely. Stay in your lane. Amen. And I know sometimes that it can be hard to stay in your lane. Amen? Mm -hmm. But but you got to trust God to trust the man or woman of God. Even as they had to trust Gideon, God was dealing with Gideon. He wasn't dealing with them. Amen? Amen? And so now they're, they're, it's like a, a push-pull. He's giving them information that God has given them, given him. And now he has to impress upon them how this information is vital to the success. Yeah. Amen? Confirmation, a dream. Now that's that blows my mind right there, uh, especially when I was first starting out, because sometimes a confirmation is something that we can put our hands on. It's uh, it's tangible. It's not intangible. Amen. Mm -hmm. And God did it with a dream. Yeah. A dream. Now, if that ain't faith being exercised, because you you well, hey hey hey, how'd you? Come up this one, we're gonna reduce the numbers. Yeah, I dreamed it. Yeah, uh, go to war by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Uh, I'm thinking like a soldier now. Yeah, yeah, I dreamed last night. If we, we go around here, hold on. The op order didn't say we go around there. They say we go around here with all these forces that we got in our favor. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> with a dream, mm. God has given him a dream and what he's what what's going to happen and the dream reassures him and strengthens his faith. You know, God does not have to do a whole lot to strengthen the believer, the true believer's faith. He doesn't have to do a whole bunch. Amen? He doesn't have to do a whole bunch. Peter, come. He walks out over the water. For the word. He didn't have to do a whole bunch. He didn't say, uh, let me show you this hocus pocus. I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna grab you, Peter, and you're gonna link up with me and we're gonna walk, we're gonna lock step across there. Mm -hmm. Uh-uh. He said, come. Mm -hmm. And it's faith. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. It's, it's faith. Right now. now just imagine if he maintained that faith. Mm -hmm. Just imagine if he had maintained that faith. How many of folks would have joined him? Oh, yeah. Ooh. The leader believing. Mm -hmm. How many of them are joining? Because he believes. Mm -hmm. Because she believes. Amen? Amen. So the dream, the confirmation that was there. You know, <clears throat> we, we oftentimes, especially when we're making decisions, I, and, and I would say for myself, uh, God knows each and every one of us down to the to the last molecule. Mm. And so, just a story, when I purchased, the, purchased my truck, I had been looking at this truck about three weeks. Parked in the front row, right here on the corner. <laughs> just parked, and I said, Lord, have mercy, I like that thing. And I'm gonna tell myself, hey, 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 look online, see how much it costs. It costs this there. Oh, no, nah, no, nah, close that. Close that. A couple of weeks pass by. God's putting it on my heart. You know, Lord, you, you spoke, your word spoke that, you know, you, you were going to bless me with a new vehicle. Mm -hmm. And I said, Lord, you know, what we're looking at is that what I want, amen, mm -hmm. we know it costs a whole lot of money. <laughs> amen? Because what we want is, 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 is a cost to it. Mm -hmm. uh, how many of us in here does not value nice things? <laughs> amen? You like nice things, you just... You know, it's just that's how you are. Mm -hmm. When you when you go somewhere and you shop somewhere, 
you shop at the same place because well, it's proven. You know, I, I, I get my stuff here because it's, it's always right and, and the customer service and it's, all these things have balled up and I, and I like it. Mm -hmm. And I said, Lord, I ain't, I ain't finna, finna pay that for no vehicle. <laughs> but yet and still, God is still <laughs> dropping uh, breadcrumbs like on the computer, dropping breadcrumbs. Now I'm looking at my finances and I said, well, Lord, yeah, I can afford it, but do I really want it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Lord, I ain't deserving, but my blessing unto you. See, this is where our faith, it, 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 it brings forth some things. It brings forth some, some worship. Amen? Amen? Because no matter what I thought, no matter what it looked like, my faith still had to have me to go out there and step on it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen? I still had to get out there and walk on my faith. Amen. I can't tell people about faith if I'm not willing to exercise mine Amen. myself. Amen. 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 I got to exercise mine myself. Right. Amen. So that you can see it. You know, when we see that, uh, uh, let's, let's take for instance people to worship in the Lord. Man, have you ever seen somebody worship in the Lord and before you know it, the Holy Spirit on you and you just move? you like, and you're saying to yourself, well, I, what, what I got to, what I got to praise and worship God for? I mean, you know, I ain't everything well with me. That's enough reason right there. Yeah. Amen. That's enough reason right there to praise Him, because everything is well with you. Amen. We we have this fallacy to believe that God has to do something for us in order for us to worship and praise Him. Just the fact that He woke you up this morning, you know, just that alone. Amen. Amen. Just that alone. So it, it, the dream was re it revealed, and he he went on a dream. He went on a, a faith. Now God has done these these things, as I say, breadcrumbs. He has done these things that encouraged and then stimulated his faith, just as he does us to stimulate our faith in to believe in him. Right. To believe that he can do it. No matter what the odds are, no matter what is against us, in spite of, he is yet still the true and living God. Yes. Yes. And though he did some of these things so many, 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 many years ago, mm -hmm. amen, he's still that same God. Mm -hmm. And though we're not up against, you know, uh, uh, thousands, uh, what, what was it, 130 something thousand people? 135,000 people, amen. It don't even matter. It could be one. If you God's child, if one come against you, they get in the business just like they was 135,000 on. Right. God going to deliver them in your hands the exact same way. This is why he tell us he make our enemies our what? Footstool. Mm -hmm. Amen. Go ahead. Thanks. And it's amazing that it was somebody else's dream. Amen. And, and God led Gideon to be at the right place at the right time to hear this dream that somebody else had Amen. that inspired that, that that touched that faith that was already residing in Gideon right. and it sparks up. Amen. It, 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 it really sparked it. I mean, you're talking about going back and worshiping God. Right. Because it, 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 it caused something to come alive. Though. You know, if God says it to you, he can say it to someone else too. How many of us say, you know, he didn't know nothing about that. Hi, God. They come up to you and say, hey, God said, you know, yeah. whatever it is that you're doing, yeah. he's getting ready to move. You just claim it. Yeah. And you're like, mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> they wasn't with me this morning when I was in the shower. They wasn't with me when I was God. reaching out to God. They, they wasn't them. Right. But right. God confirmed that. Yeah. Amen. Go ahead, Sister Chris. I know you're going to say something. Um, you know, I'm going to cut y'all off. Uh -huh. um, so, the dream. The dream was a poor man's meal, a loaf of barley. Amen. So it's, they said the loaf, and I can't say this enough because it's profound to me. Mm -hmm. um, it fits Gideon to the T. Yeah. Gideon mm -hmm. was the runt of his litter. Right. So Gideon already had lack of faith inside of himself. But the dream was a loaf of barley, mm -hmm. which is a piece of hard bread. I'm saying hard because right. I'm a poor man. And right. it, it's small, you know? right. and it rolled down, mm -hmm. and it decimated.
made it off a whole tent. No, just a whole right. piece of bread. <laughs> That's hard. Rolled it down, decimated. It's in, insignificant mm -hmm. as a small poor man's meal. That is confident in itself. That speaks mm -hmm. mounds that says, oh, you got this. Yeah, yeah. So running back and shouting that, yeah, this is good. Because that loaf was dead. Amen. You know, uh, when we said, when we were speaking earlier, we were talking about complacent, being complacent. Were not the Midianites, weren't they not complacent? Because they thought they had all these numbers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And they said, you know what? You got, you know, like, uh, I forget this show, it's a movie, uh, Markenberg, not M Mocking Jake. What is that? The movie Mock Yeah, yeah. And say, may the odds be forever in your favor. Amen? The odds. <laughs> and so you're looking at this saying, you know what, we can we can overtake them because, you know, our God was already preparing battle. Mm -hmm. They were waiting to initiate the battle. Yeah. <laughs> Amen? That's how it is. God, God already started the battle. Oh, yeah. hey, he's he not already started. Matter of fact, he's already giving you the victory. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Amen? He's not already giving you the victory. And here it is, they're, they're in a, a, a pattern where they, you know, they're waiting. It also shows us it ain't good to wait when God is moving. Mm -hmm. When God is moving, that is the time that you need to be moving. Oh, yeah. Amen. Don't be sitting around. Amen. It would be like uh, 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 when, when we see uh, people running. Yeah. <laughs> when God moving, well, yeah. you move. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. When that spirit of God is placed upon you and he moving. Yes, sir. That's why I keep a, 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 something to write on next to the bed because I, I just don't know when he say, does it so. Where are you going? It's 3 o'clock. Where are you going? <laughs> Man. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Amen. 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 The interpretation, uh, Sister Christy hit on that, and the interpretation, you know, God gave somebody else the drink. Amen. That solidified what God was already doing. Mm -hmm. God does provide us a confirmation. Amen. Sometimes our spirit needs that. Sometimes we need to know that, Lord, am I doing right? Lord, am I following you as you bid me? Sometimes we need that because sometimes we can think, you know, am, am I? Am, am I doing? Am I doing right? It's, it, it's a part of human nature. Yeah. Amen? You're not doing anything that no one else is doing, but it's a, it's a part of human nature as to whether or not you're doing it. Did you get ready to say something? No, earlier, I, it, it just a, a, a quick comment about, uh, and it's kind of late for someone to say the past, I'll be brief, you know, uh -huh. but how we see how God's providence is so perfect mm -hmm. in all of this, that the yeah. things that happen in the reduction that process and how he comes in through his providence and produces it in a way that man can understand and what man can learn from. But he's, he's always there. You know, when you think about the book of Esther, man. God did not mention the book of Esther. Absolutely. But you see one time. Presence, Dale, yes. And I see the same thing here. Man. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Ab yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Practical point three, God saw him work is universal and his timing is always perfect. Amen. That right there, I ain't got nothing to say on it. <laughs> Amen. It says it all by itself. It's universal. And it's time is perfect. We tend to think that it's not perfect. But it is. And when God has brought us out, we can look back and say, oh, that's why that happened. Yeah. And that's why that did that. And that's why I did Oh, just imagine if, if if God wasn't included in your process. Mm -hmm. You can find yourself mm -hmm. at the right place at the wrong time, or the right or the wrong time mm -hmm. in the right place. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Well, we want to find ourselves being at the right place at the right time, so that when God gets ready to move, He has no other option but to run past the Davis over. Mm -hmm. I mean, run me over. Amen. Amen. 
confirmation for worship. It is necessary. You know, we can praise our children all day long. Praise the man or woman and go, all right, Pastor, you did, you did a good job, Pastor. You, you know, wonderful job. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. That's, that's a form of praise. Amen? But, and, and your enemy can do that. Amen? I've been uh, on, on jobs where they tell a person that they're doing a great job and the whole time they're trying to get rid of them. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, what? Well, hold on now. Yeah. You just, I heard you, I overheard you say what a great job that they were doing and now you're trying to put them out. You, yeah. you, you praised them. I mean, that's why the worship is necessary because the only way that you can give it is spirit and in truth. That is the only way. Amen. That is the only way that God is going to receive it. Spirit and in truth. Amen. Spirit and in truth. Not in the flesh. Is it? Amen. Spirit and in truth. Is it? Who is it? That's me. I apologize. Amen. 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 Hey, don't laugh at me. You know. Keep on living. Practical point four. The practical point four. True faith sees that God is at work and responds in worship and obedience. That's what it does. Mm -hmm. True faith. Yeah. True faith. Conclusion. A request refused. Now, God has done all these marvelous things for Gideon and, and the Midianites. But yet, they wanted to elevate Gideon. Do we, do we not see churches doing that? Were they elevating a man or woman of God and not God? Amen? Mm -hmm. Not recognizing that that man or woman of God is coming forth by the will of God. Amen? The, the, the man or woman of God is just a yielded vessel. Mm -hmm. That's all. A yielded vessel. And so they was trying to elevate Gideon, and he was like, no. And you know what? He could have easily gotten himself and said, you know what? Yeah, I did that. He could have. As, as to be humans, we also we often do. That we yeah. want to give credit about, we give credit to ourselves or, or to man, to what God has done in our life. Hey, I want to really appreciate you, you know, for you know, giving me the job and doing the interview. You got that job because God wanted you to have that job. Mm -hmm. That's why you got that job. How many of you all who gotten a job and you knew you were not the well qualified? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. You were not the well qualified. When you looked at the competition, you were not the well qualified. But God Amen. Gave you grace and favor in the eyes of man. God gave you that. God moved upon them. They don't know why. You, you know what? He said, he said I, I kind of I kind of like him. He, he all right. I kind of like her. I kind of like her, uh, 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 her demeanor or, you know, her, her forcefulness. You know, that's, that's what I need in that position. Amen? Amen. And, and you're thinking, yeah, you know, Got all these degrees, you know, and all these, you know, initials behind my name. That's why I got the job. No, ma'am. No, sir. You got that job. You got that position. You got what God wanted you to have because it was God that was involved in it. Amen? Amen. Never, ever diminish the role of God in your life. I got this, I got, you know, I got this house, you know, this, you know, uh, uh, my million dollar house, and, you know, I work out here making, you know, six figures, that's why, you know, I can afford it. No, you afforded it because God made it possible. Mm -hmm. Amen? God made it possible for you. Amen, amen. Don't look at it as what you don't have. Look at it as to what you do have. Amen. You have God. Amen. Amen. And, and, and the rebuilding of the uh, the city, they say they, they work 
with their weapon, with their hand on their weapon. Mm -hmm. Amen. Scripture tells us, you know, if not for the Lord on my mm. side. <laughs> Amen. The Lord being on my side, that is why I am victorious. Part four five. Wise is the person who knows when to say no. Yeah. And, and, and Gideon refused. Amen. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I, you know, just thinking outside the box, he, he had seen how they didn't have any faith. He was like, oh, no, no. Amen. I'm just, I'm just looking at it. You know, I'm, I'm thinking like Donnell. I'm like, mm, this group right here? Mm, no. Nah. But he acknowledged God. And that's the important takeaway from that is to acknowledge God. Know when to say no. Uh, you know, don't allow God to use you some of the way. Allow him to use you all of the way. The request accepted. Amen. You know, uh, I had to research this. Uh, it's called EPOD. Mm -hmm. I had to research it. I was like, this, this sounds familiar, but what, what actually is it? Amen. And the very thing that, that he got from them, they end up using it to, to make an idol of. That's right. That's right. What? what? But it's like us. We can see the move of God's hand all the way through it. And then, just like the pig, when you clean him up, what do you do? Go back in the mud. Go back in the mud. You wash your dog. I don't care how many times I wash our dog. As soon as you cut him loose. There you go. Don't in the mud, in the dirt. Like, don't don't run. Run. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. What? <laughs> what, 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 what? Why would you do that after you didn't seen God's hand? But you know, if we looked at the the history of the children of Israel, and, and, and they did that. Mm -hmm. Amen. No matter what God did for them, they went back to the mud. Mm -hmm. brought, you want to come out of Egypt? You don't want to be a slave. Brought you out. Then you say you 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 brought us out here to let us die. <laughs> what? Yeah. As if you weren't dying when you was there. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I want to go back. Right. 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 You know, at least we didn't have to worry about this, and we didn't yeah. have to worry about that. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> they had got comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. We can't get comfortable in our situation. Yeah. Yeah. We don't bother us. I'm just saying. Uh, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm all right. You're setting yourself up for failure to be, get comfortable with it. Yeah. Yeah. Part one says true gratitude finds a way. To say thank you. Mm -hmm. True gratitude. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 I ain't going to tell them that. You better. Mm -hmm. yeah. You be grateful for a few things. God will make you what? what? Like ruler Great. over many. many. Mm -hmm. Amen. I have to, my, what, the person I need to hear that, they ain't, they ain't sitting here right now. They in the bathroom. Uh, Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. I hope his brother relayed a message. <laughs> you be grateful for a few things. God will make you fruitful over many. Yeah. Uh, hey, if, if you be fruitful over a few things, God will make you rule over many. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Beautiful lesson this morning. Oh, yeah. Amen. Uh, we can also look at it from our perspective and the things that we have been challenged with in our servitude to God and looking at things and saying, man, the numbers are against us. Mm -hmm. Amen. But if God be for us, who can be Amen. 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 Any, any uh, more comments? There being none, and I'm going to ask you to stand so we can dismiss from Sunday school. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we want to thank you today, Father Lord, for your instructions, Lord, and how you have enlightened us and encouraged us at the same time, Father. Yes. Lord, we understand, Lord, though the numbers be great against us, Father Lord, that we know that you're on our side, Father. And Lord, if you said it, Lord, we know that we have to call it done and we receive it. Yes. Lord, I ask that you bless the remainder of the service and all those in attendance. In your darling son, Jesus' name, amen. 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 amen.